Hello, and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. It's Mindy, and today we're going to be talking about Instant 2D. Instant 2D is a way to make changes to your sketch without using the Modified Dimensions dialog box. We're going to walk through making some changes to our sketch with Instant 2D off, and then we'll make some more changes with Instant 2D on. So with Instant 2D off, if we want to change the value of our dimension, we're going to double click that value and the Modified Dimensions dialog box will appear. Here we can input whatever new value we want and we can either hit the green check mark in the upper left hand corner or we can go ahead and hit the enter key. If I want to either delete my dimension or make changes to the property manager of that dimension, all I need to do is single click it, and this will highlight the dimension. Now let's go through using Instant 2D. So to turn Instant 2D on, you're going to go to the Sketch tab of your Command Manager, and Instant 2D is located all the way on the right. There's two ways to change the value of your dimension with Instant 2D. The first way is to single click on the value and this little box appears and you can go ahead and input whatever new value you want and hit the enter key. The other way to change the value is if I again single click on that dimension, uh, you'll see that two blue nodes appear at the end of the arrow of the dimension. I can left click and drag either of these blue nodes and a graphic ruler will appear. So hovering over either side of that graphic ruler uh, just kind of highlights whatever my value is in green there. Or what's really cool is I can hide or I can hover over the lines of the ruler and my cursor will kind of snap to these um, and that will give me the value that I want a little bit more precise. If you want to change the precision of the ruler, uh, go ahead and just zoom in to your sketch, select your dimension again, and grab that blue node, and now you'll see that the precision of the ruler has changed. Let's zoom to fit with the F key. If I want to delete the dimension, or I want to make changes to the property manager of the dimension, I need to highlight it. So, with Instant 2D, if I select on the value, it's going to ask me to change the value. So it's not really highlighting the dimension. So to do that, we're actually going to select anywhere on either arrow. So by selecting the arrow, it only highlights that dimension. And now I can make the changes in the property manager that I want. Go ahead and give Instant 2D a try and see if you like it. Thanks for tuning in to my tech tip. Hope you join us next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.